Hey everybody, I'm Adrian Bustamante and welcome back to Food Deconstructed. On this episode, we're deconstructing the very famous dessert apple pie. And this recipe is one of my favorites because I like to partake in the libations, it is the warm cider and rum cocktail. We have a few different options here in regards to ingredients. So we're gonna start by actually taking our pot and putting it over a flame. We're gonna be using apple cider and unsweetened apple juice. So I'm gonna be taking about four cups of each and placing them in our pot. Two. And two. And there's two. Now, we're also gonna be adding three quarters cup of brown sugar, a quarter cup of granulated sugar, two of sticks of cinnamon, and then I'm gonna be opening up some of this vanilla bean and throwing in that in there as well. So, let's go ahead and add our brown sugar. Quarter cup of salt again. Our two cinnamon sticks. To open up your vanilla bean, all you really need to do is slice this right down the middle, leaving it almost fillet it. This way you can kind of take out the insides and place that in our pot here. And it should just come off a nice little black paste there for you. Throw that in there. The same thing for the other side. What we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this to a boil. And then once this comes to a boil, I'm gonna bring it back down to a simmer and I'll be adding our alcohol. So what I'm gonna start working on now is our little man-made cups. Now what we did was we actually scooped out the inside of our larger Honeycrisp apples and turn them into a little uh, vessel here for your drink later. Now this is a fun way just to kind of add a little bit of flair to like a party or just a little get together you might have. So you can try this at home, it's nice and simple. This one's already finished, but I'm gonna show you kind of how we did it on this slightly unfinished version. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna take our little scoop here and just go at the inside nice and easy. Now what I like to do is try the best you can to leave a little bit of an edge around close to the skin. You don't want it too thin to start getting real soggy once you'll start putting drinks in it. Now this one actually sits flat on its own. Sometimes you get an apple, it doesn't sit so flat. So what we did here was we actually just cut the bottom piece off to make it flatter. But this one sits well on its own, so we're not gonna need to do that. This way we don't have to worry about any spills. We're gonna take a little bit of a cinnamon and sugar mixture here and just kind of put it on the inside of the cup and then I'm just gonna rub it around a little bit. So you get that cinnamon and sugary flavor all throughout the cup. So it's just gonna add, add those extra spices to your drink as you drink it through. What we are gonna add once this boils and we spring it down to a simmer again is we're gonna bring in one and a half cups of whipped cream flavored vodka and then we're gonna bring in a cup of rum. So again, you can add as much or as little alcohol as you want. Uh, this is about a good average mix compared to what we have in here. So shouldn't be too strong, but it shouldn't be too sweet. Should be right down the middle. Okay, what I did was actually let this reduce for about five to 10 minutes after it came to its boil. So now we're going to add our alcohol. Got a little bit of rum here. And our whipped cream flavored vodka. Again, you can add whatever alcohols or flavored alcohols you want. These are just some that I came up with. So you don't have to wait much longer once that's in there. What we're gonna do is grab our ladle, start serving. Remember to watch out for that vanilla bean pod and those cinnamon sticks that are in there. There you have it. And what I'm also gonna do is for a little bit of garnish, Place some cinnamon sticks in here. Now, you can't really use them as straws that well, but they'll do for now. And there you have it, guys. Warm apple cider and rum cocktail. All right, let's see how this drink tastes. Oh. 
Oh yeah. That just reminds me of that holiday style apple pie that you get at Christmas time. It's got that, that winter time in front of a fire type feel to it. And you just get that cinnamon, the strong obviously apple cider notes, and you just get the little, little hint of sugar that's on the inside of that cup as well. The one thing I will say is I maybe rather have used either maybe a little less vodka or maybe none at all. This kind of maybe a type of drink that uses maybe a dark liquor instead of combining two separate ones, but again, you can try whatever you like at home. That's the fun of it. So stay tuned for our next recipe, which is apple and onion rings.